Hey everybody, it's MP4 from SlateDroid.com and FlatGamer.com. Today we're going to be going over something that I think that everybody could use, especially if you have movies and music saved to your server um, or your computer, um, but you have not been able to get it to stream to your tablet. Um, this has been a problem that's been bothering me, and, and probably some people have already figured this out, but for those who have not figured it out, I have a couple of, of, of simple programs. Now, this is Windows only, guys, and I apologize. I do run uh, Linux a lot, and I know you guys hear me say that, but actually I do. I run uh, a Linux Mint, so I haven't tried it, but I would assume that this could probably work in MediaTomb. So look for a video on that, because I'm going to try to get uh, MediaTomb to work, which, which actually would be pretty simple, um, especially when you see how easy it is to do it in, in Windows, which I'm sure it's almost the same. So anyway, so uh, there's a couple of programs that you would need to get uh, installed to your Windows pro uh, to your Windows computer uh, server to get it to actually to be able to stream um, uh, movies or music. So um, one of the programs that I found was from a website called ToolsForMovies.com. Now this site is actually pretty cool. Um, uh, as I was uh, using my Arcos 32 with my little tiny screen, I found that they have something in there that that just works flawlessly for streaming movies and music it it was actually no problem which you know slighted me to want to get the the Arcos you, you know 7 and the Arcos uh, 101 the problem with that is that I like uh, I wanted to know why that our tablets the ones that we get do not work like my bad pad or my um uh and my iPad 2 it was really bothering me. So anyway, so I went to the site called ToolsForMovies.com and I clicked on the section that says Android. So once you click on the section that says Android, there's a lot of stuff you can kind of scroll through and read. But one thing I found interesting was they had something called How to Stream Movies uh, to Your Phone for Free. Now we all know that the Android tablets uh, use utilize Android software, which is just basically you know uh, phone software according to Google anyway. So a lot of um, things that we uh, can figure out we need to just look for how it works on the phone and then kind of you know get it to work on the tablet so anyway um, so this goes on and on and on which is actually kind of interesting I mean you can read it if you like but then there's a program on there called um, uh, mp4ss so it means mp4 streaming server now that it's a free download so it's basically is a mp4 streaming server a pretty fancy name right um, for your uh, a Windows system so you can download that it works it works great but once you download that you also have to have a program called DVD Catalyst 3 now what DVD Catalyst 3 does is it takes your AVI or your you know Windows media stuff and it converts it into mp4 format so that it, the uh, so that, that the server will stream it because this only this one only streams uh, mp4s so there's a couple other ones I'll, I'll show you uh, depending on if you have time or not oh. In this one, I'll show you how to get uh, uh, TV Versity, uh, TV or to get Orb, and Orb and TV Versity seem to play any uh, stream any format. I couldn't get TV Versity to work on my um, on my bad pad, but I can get it to work on my iPad too. Uh, they're both Telechips devices, which I found very confusing. But anyway, the MP4 one worked flawlessly. So. So you would need to download these two. You need to download the MP4 streaming server app, and you need to download the trial DVD Catalyst. Now, it's also worth buying. I would say that the conversion process was very, very quick, and um, you, you know, for nine bucks, I'm sure you know it's a it'll help these people uh, develop. Uh, more um, software, especially now that they know, because I'm going to write them and let them know that it works on tablets. So these are the two programs that you're going to get anyway. All right, so let me stop babbling on. So this is the program that you're going to get. It's called MP4 Streaming Server. Now it keeps giving me an error message, but I'll tell you why in a second because I'm running a couple of sh streaming servers. But this is a program. This is the actual streaming server. It's actually pretty, pretty cut and dried. It's, it's um, you know, movies, TV shows, advanced, you know, folder scan. You know, you can scan your videos once you've converted them. You can just keep them into a direct place and scan them, and it will add them, which makes it actually you know pretty convenient now here's a DVD catalyst program right here now this is the one that I have I have the uh, the, the the retail version so this is how this one works this is how you're gonna do your conversions you're gonna 
I know you're going to add your file. Let's see. I want to add my file here. And then I'm going to, if you look down here, it tells you how I want it converted. So I can see how I want it to, to modify it and what I actually want it to, to, to do. Um, how I want to turn it in. So this is, you know, the, the resulting file, file name is going to, you know, it's really going to be the same. You can shorten the file name if you'd like and make any changes there. But here is, here you, here you can, uh, here's where you modify how I want it to come out. So I'm going to do mp4 mp3 I want a stereo quality this is the uh, the screen size I can make it a little bit bigger if I like you know because we're dealing with um, tablets I think I did 720 by 400 last time you can do more than one pass uh, you could you can crank up the volume and you can add stereo sound quality the 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 better you have the file compressed and um, the better quality is going to help with the streaming so we don't want to have it too you know too big and so let's go ahead and do this so we're just going to go ahead and let that go so it's going to take it's going to do with fancy stuff now this takes a little bit bit but I did one see it's got it's got about you want to have a pretty fast um, processor to get this done so we're looking at you know, time's ticking down. It's kind of fluctuating, but let's go to minimize that. But that's the process of getting your files to convert. It, to convert, you can probably do a batch process and just have a whole bunch of them done. You know, maybe start it right before bed and then do a lot of them at one time. So anyway, so once they're converted, you're going to jump onto your. Um, okay, you're going to jump on. Oops, you're going to jump onto your uh, MP4 streaming server for free, and then you're going to just add it. And then, like I said, you can add it a couple of different ways. You can add it, uh, you know, you can do the add file to directory, or you can, you know, have it scan it. Um, so once you've added it to your 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 thing, this is pretty much already set up. But this is the address you're going to go to. Um, w you're going to actually plug this into your browser on your tablet. Now mine is not 80; it's actually 8080. I had to change it, um, but that's actually pretty easy to do. All you would need to do is uh, where it says streaming, you you have to stop it. Then once to stop it, this is highlighted, and then you can change the port to one. I tried 80 for mine; mine was blocked, so I had to change it to 8080. Anyway, um, but that worked. So uh, I'll show you in the video uh, later on how it works with, with this one. So let's go ahead and get that out the way. All right. So then another one I downloaded was one called orbcaster now you, you can download that that's also free which is really cool so the orbcaster is a free download uh, and you can you know just google it and then it says uh, you know you just set it up you have to have a username and password f um, for this one uh, because you're going to have to download Orb from um, the marketplace, which I which it's free, so I'll probably have it in the marketplace. I probably have all these files already put together for you in the marketplace because they're free. So I'm not, you know, stealing from the company. Except for any paid versions, you're going to have to pay for it yourself. But but the free ones, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to have them put into a, a a folder for you guys, so you guys can just get it and set it up and enjoy it. All right, so this is actually pretty self-explanatory once again. You do have to sign up uh, with Orb, um, and then you got to set up a password and all that stuff to to uh, to enjoy. And that is the one for Orb. Like I said, just Google Orb um, or look on look in the download uh, site. I'll have it in there. Then the other one, last but not least, is Tbiversity. It has a really cool you know th this can also be downloaded for free because they have a free edition you know and then they have the pro version now I haven't tried all the features on here because uh, because I'm using the free version as you can see but here's the settings this goes to all the settings that you can use it's it was actually pretty easy Th this has the same kind of setup too it tells you where to to what what website you're gonna go to to actually um, get this to 
to work and it's um it's your IP address um four one at port four one nine five two. So it's you, you know, whatever your home address is, which if you don't know how to get that, people open up your run folder, type in command and just do IP config and that will tell you what's your IP address. So mine is uh, 192.168.1.146 and then you know but but then the port is uh, 41. So so when I'm putting it in, if you're watching and I'm putting it into the browser it's going to be 192.168.1.146 and then it's going to be 41952 and that's how it's going to look in my browser so that's what you want to do okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this I will like I said I'm going to have I'm going to jump over to the camera to show you how it looks like when it's actually um, playing um, alright this is it for now guys